Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan Nelson. Real quickly, I'm going to go over just what is banner advertising. So if you're new to the internet, internet marketing, and you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to go over that real quickly. Okay, so here's the strategy, guys. If someone goes out and Googles a term, and we're going to use the term, let's say, home business. Let's say I'm, I'm, I'm targeting the home business industry. And you look at what the number one result is. It's homebusinessmag.com. Now, just keep this in mind. I've already done the research for home business. It's on this page. Um, but I'm just showing this for tutorial reasons. Um, but if you Google this term, you click on homebusinessmagazine.com, these guys get a lot of traffic from the keyword home business, multiple keywords um, on, on the internet, and so they drive a lot of traffic to their pages. Now on these pages, if you look up here to the top, this is a banner ad. Um, this is an advertisement for a website that is not homebusinessmag.com. Um, they have another banner over here to the right, um, here's some more banner ads. And what you're wanting to do is put your website inside of a banner ad so when they click on it, they go to your landing page. Now this is just an example. This is someone's landing page that they created. You already have a marketing slash landing page in the, in the WMI marketing platform. If you do not, you can create a page um, and, and you're going to want to create that marketing page. If you're here, you're a little bit... Uh, ahead of the game you need to go back and watch creating a marketing page but most people who are here are a part of the platform they have a working at home .co URL and they can start marketing right now today but this is what banner advertising is now I've heard people say that banner advertising is dead and people don't click on ads and people don't people ignore the ads on pages now that is completely false I'm going to tell you right now 100 percent false I run banner ads all the time and I have great results from it. I believe the problem is, is how you run the banner advertising. And just so you get a little bit of information here before we go on to the next step, what makes a good banner? You want to run ads and banners on sites that are niche or related to your topic. So if I'm selling Nike shoes, I don't want to put a Nike shoe banner on Home Business Magazine. That is not going to convert well. I may get a lot of clicks, but I'm not going to get a lot of sales. It would probably be better to be on a shoe website or the best shoes or Nike's website. A website like that is where I want to place my banners, maybe apparel or clothing websites, um, things of that nature. But on a home business website, not going to work out very well. But with our product line, with our niche, with the WMI marketing platform, our banners will work on these pages. And that's what we're looking for. I'm going to give you a list of these pages. In the next module, I'm going to show you how to set up a banner ad. And I have a list of all of the niche websites that I have personally used in the past year and have had success. Now, guys, this list may change. I may add some new websites. I may subtract some based upon cost per click and things of that nature, which you'll learn in further modules. But for right now, this is what banner advertising is. You can find many websites. I'm going to go to another website and give you another quick um, uh, example. Let's go to MLM Review Kings. And up here is a banner, uh, the, the header banner. Also, down here on the side, these are banners. As you can see, they have advertising spots open. Here's some banners right here before the content. I mean, this web page is flooded with banners. Now, this is some of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're looking for, for websites. And again, I've already done this for you. I have um, the websites here. Um, but you want to find websites out there that don't have a ton of ad space, that give you good cost per click, but has niche traffic. And the reason for that is you don't want to compete with hundreds of ads on the page. The, I will have suggestions, just like this website, the MLM Review Kings, that has a lot of ads. The reason why I suggest these are sometimes the costs are very low and you're going to get enough clicks with enough traffic that it really converts well. But typically the train of thought is find websites that have, you know, maybe five to ten banners on their page. Get the most premium banner on the page. And the most premium banner on the page, I'm going to go back and show you guys, um, back to that home business magazine website. The most premium real estate on this page is this banner right here at the top, the letterhead banner. That's what they're called. Reason why 
And there's two reasons why. First, it's the first thing people see when they look at the header. When they're looking across here at the different categories, they will browse and see this banner. The second reason is it's what we call above the fold. Now, what is above the fold? If you click on a website, and right now, here's the website. I'm going to show a little bit of the browser. Okay, so I'm clicking on the website right now. If I scroll down, and I'll move this a little bit so you can see, see the little scroll bar. If I scroll down, I'm now under the fold. So I want to try and get banners that when you first open up the page, you see without having to scroll. Once you scroll, you're now below the fold. And you want to try to purchase banners above the fold. Now, is this always you know, the best way to do it? I will say yes, it's always the best way to do it, but there are times where you might find some good deals or enough traffic on websites that one below the fold is okay. Um, but typically, this ad space right here, the top right corner ad space, where you see these text ads, this is the best place to have your banner or text ad. Up here at the top is the best place. So it's number one here, number two here, and the number three best spot is the first ad. I don't care what the size is. If it's 125, if it's a 200 by 200 banner, um, if it's just a text ad, it's the first ad that you see when you scroll below the fold. What you want to stay away from are the bottom ads, the ads at the very bottom of the page. Because you get charged per impression for every time your banner ad is displayed. And if someone is above the fold, and they never scroll to the bottom, that counts against you. So you want to make sure that the most eyeballs you can possibly get will, will see your banner and above the fold is the place to do it. I'm going to click real quick on one more uh, page just so you can kind of see an example of a page. Here is a page, here's a banner ad from Google. You know, pick your website address, it's just a little banner here. They have the header banner. Again, this is the best this is the second best. As I scroll down, this would be the next best um, ad. Possibly the one over here to the left might be a, a good ad because it's a little bit higher in the fold um, and it's a bigger banner. But you got to keep that in mind when purchasing banners. It's not always the best price will give you the best result because you know you might look here and say, well, this banner down here is a letterhead banner. And it's, you know, let's say it's $35 a month, but this one up here is $300. Well, this one is going to pay off a lot more than buying this little $35 banner. Um, you're you're, you're going to get more eyeballs, more click-throughs, and your cost per impression will be so much better. And again, we're going to go over that here in a little bit. But this is banner advertising. It's placing images with links going to your website, your offers, your products on other people's websites. It's just a banner that's an ad on someone's website. It's that simple. That's what banner advertising is. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a banner for a website. Thanks, guys.